Hey y'all, welcome back to the DG Outdoors channel guys. In today's video guys, I want to show you the uh, picture display I made for the trophy wall with the picture of me and the doe that I killed the other night. Now guys, this was actually the second attempt to make a display. You guys look at my fingers, there's super glue all over my fingers. Um, the one I made right here in the picture I'm going to show you I painted camouflage and I glued an arrow to it and an acorn that I found and I hung it up on the wall last night. Well, about 3 a.m. it fell down and broke. I bought that at the Dollar Tree. No big deal. So I went and bought this uh, board here and this is how I built my new one. So we're going to go look at it. All right, guys. Just so this doesn't fall off the wall again, I ended up getting a, a whitewash like craft board with a rope on it so I can hang it up here. All this stuff is mostly command strip to the wall except for the deer and the squirrel they're actually nailed into the post. But guys if you guys look at this I have a practice arrow one of the moose and practice arrows that I've been practicing with all week at 15 and 20 yards and it had this bent fletching. So I decided to use it and I super glued that on there. I got my picture with the deer. This acorn I went out in the woods yesterday and found. You guys can see two glue spots up here. I originally was going to make a frame with sticks, but it wouldn't, didn't stay, wouldn't work out. So that's what I did this. But from far away, it looks like it's just part of the rustic wood. Now this acorn didn't have a cap. So I super glued a cap on there to make it work. And then super glued the acorn to the board. Now you guys look down here. This is my personal touch. This is a... Tink's mini scent bomb. Um, if you guys watch my video, you guys know I used a Tink scent bomb with some code red dough urine in it. And I had an extra one, so I stapled it on here. And this stick is an actual stick from the branch that the scent bomb was hanging on. Now, whether the deer urine did any good or not, I'm not sure, but I've heard that when you have it out there, it calms the deer down, but it could also attract the bucks too. And I know it's not estrus urine, because doe urine you can use all your estrus you use during the rut. Um, but I bought two bottles of it. So this kind of tells a story about the acorn, you know, mass this year, what arrow I used, and how I used the scent dripper. I think it looks really, really good. I like it. And just another neat way for me to display stuff all on my trophy wall. Now, we've got the gopher over here, right here. We got my sign from the State Forest Boundary that I found back in like 2011, 2012, 2013, something like that. It had fell off a tree and I found it on the ground. Um, one thing I haven't shown you guys is we've got some feathers up here. We've got like two crow feathers. And that's a turkey feather that I found once at my parents' house. And then, of course, we got my big old fox squirrel here. So, yeah. Yep. So, this is my display. I hope you guys like it. It's got a little bit of green paint on it from the last thing that I did. But she, she's solid. She's not going anywhere. Everything on here is pretty much solid. Um, the stick was the hardest to get to stick because I actually went to slide that into the display and it snapped off. And I almost ran out of super glue, so I had to staple it. But you can't really tell. It's all about the story and the experience. And that's what I, in any of my things, guys, like my chipmunk and my dove over here, I try to tell somewhat of a story, right, with all my displays. All right, guys, so that was just a quick look at my new display. I think it turned out really neat. It tells a cool story, um, but... That's pretty cool. I picked the better picture of what I had, I think. so. And the only thing I don't like about that picture is I didn't realize my head length was still on. The batteries were going dead, so sometimes it would be on, sometimes it would be off. And, but, hey. I was going to glue a broadhead on there, but I was like, that broadhead ain't going to stick and someone's going to cut themselves. So I just cut the end off of a practice arrow and sanded it down and glued it on there. So, pretty neat. Guys, eventually I'm going to be outside building the backstop for the turkey target, and then we're going to be practicing for turkey hunting this fall over the next couple of days. So y'all remember, like, comment.
comment, subscribe. Remember, Jesus loves you. Remember to push. Pray until something happens, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.